so in our previous video we have seen that we are created a CRUD operation table and we found the user interface like it now we are going to add some more details like bootstrap classes and jQuery data table inside this table so that it looks more attractive than right now for that first of all we have to show the id before the name here so for that we have to go to the index.cshtml then we have to copy this and paste this and then we have to change the name as a id same we have to do here also we have to copy this then we have to paste this and then we have to change the name as a id then we have to control a save hot reload and go to the page and refresh it so you can see that the id is also visible and i have inserted 13 records in it so that the jquery data table can be easily visible by this 13 record so first of all we have to go to the bootstrap first of all we have to add the bootstrap classes so for that we have to go to the get bootstrap and then we have to go to the bootstrap here we have to select the compatible version 3.4.1 from bootstrap we have to go to the components then we have to select this drop downs and here we have to copy this page code so we have to copy this and then we have to go here inside index.cshtml then we have to paste here just above this control p then uh, we can see that there are five li tag here on the code we have copied from the net and only there are three anchor link inside our project so we have to delete two extra link li tag then we have to copy this control x and we have to paste here at the position of anchor tag we have to paste this similarly we have to cut this from here and we have to paste just on second anchor tag then we have to take this third one and yes we have to cut this and paste here and we have to remove this too and we have to just control is save changes hot reload and if i go to this page and hot reload it you find that this will be converted into the drop down so here it is converted into the drop down and uh, i want to change this button color so i can do it by going to the in this we have to make it blue button so we can write btn btn primary bootstrap class and instead of dot down i want to make it action so yeah action and control s hot reload if i refresh this page so this button will convert into the blue color yeah it is converted one more thing i have to convert this also in btn btn primary so i have to go to the index dot yes html then i have to go here here i have to write null then i have to write new then i have to take this bracket and i have to take the class class is equal to is equal to btn btn primary so it takes the c sharp class i have to remove the meaning of c sharp class then i have to use that at the right now it is the css class and uh, if i save control s hot fix hot reload and uh, if i refresh this page then the this button is also getting converted into the blue button btn btn primary and uh, this table is a very simple table i have to make it more attractive for that i have to go to this class table i can write here table border i can also take 
table four and I can also take table and now I have to take one ID for uh, jQuery data table I give the name my table and if I save this data and hot reload it and if I reload this page then you can find that the table is becomes more attractive than the previous version now I have to go to add the jQuery data table so go to the Google search jQuery data table go to this site and uh, now click on this download after that scroll down and go to here and click on download files so you can see that file is downloading inside my laptop so I already downloaded the file inside my laptop and I unzipped it and if you can see that there are three folders CSS images and JS so uh, we have to write each, we have to add each one inside our project so first of all I have to go to the content then stop this project first of all I have to go to the content then I have to add existing item and here go to the downloads then data tables here I have to select all files data tables CSS here I, think I have to select this data tables dot bootstrap four dot min because my Visual Studio supports that bootstrap four dot min and one more file this jQuery data tables dot min I have to add it so you can see that it is already added then I have to go to the, the script folder Here the script folder. Here I have to add existing item. Then I go to this JS, and here I have to add this data tables dot bootstrap four dot min dot JS. I have to select this and one more folder. And one more file. This I have to select, and then I have to add it. You can see here it is added. So we have to go to the shared and then we have to go to the layout.cshtml here we have to add the file of CSS and jQuery data table so that jQuery data table can be worked so here we are making the space to add the tables first of all I have to add the bootstrap old files so here you can see that first of all I have to add this jQuery dot min table dot min CSS here. Then I have to add this here. So yeah, you can see that I have added this to here. And now I have to add jQuery files here. I have to make most this. Then I have to go to this. So first of all, we have to add this file. And then I have to add this file. So I think I have added this wrong file here. I have to delete it and uh, I have to add this right one. I have to add this just above it. Yeah. And after that, we have to write some script. So here we can write the script by using script tag. So 
Yeah. We have to write dollar. We have to write dollar. In bracket, we have to write document. Dot ready. It's a jQuery event that is fired when once the DOM is loaded. We have to write a function inside it. Function. In this function, we have to write dollar packet. We have to write the ID which I was taken in the index. What is that? Index. This ID. My table. We have to write this. Control C. Control D. My table. Then we have to write that our data table function. And after that we have to control S control shift build. We have to build the project. Then we have to run the project. Let's see what happens. show this warning and uh, jQuery data table is not achieved I think I I forgot something yes I think I have to we have to take this this inside the body head tag and the T head tag T head tag start from here and it will end here then we have to start T body tag. T body tag start just above the four ish loop and it will end just after this TR tag. Control shift, control S, hot reload, reload this page. There is still one error. Okay, let's see. Okay, this is this has to be your I have put this in the wrong place. Okay, control shift forty load. Run it once again. Now you can see that there are jQuery data table executed. If I want to search something, so it can be easily searched. If I want to show only females, then it can be easily searched. And yeah, if I want to change the order, I can do it by clicking on it. And if I want to move to the next page, then I have to click on second page, then I can see the extra data. And I click to previous page, then it shows the previous page data. So Yes. By using this, you can implement the bootstrap as well as jQuery data table inside the ASP.NET MVC application. So that is for now. And stay tuned for the upcoming videos. And please like and subscribe the channel. Thank you.